I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Gemini, recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we've got the moon card and it's with the seven of pentacles. So the moon card can be about deception. It can be about feeling like things are hidden from you. It can be about wearing a mask or not saying how you truly feel. But what I'm getting, Gemini, um, by looking at the Seven of Pentacles that's clarified by the Moon card, Seven of Pentacles, the card that's below the word pass, I'm getting that for some of you, you were dealing with someone that you really wanted the connection to work, you wanted it to grow. Yeah, you see how she's watering this plant? She gets up every morning to take care of it. Just to make sure that it makes it. To make sure that it it prospers. Yeah, she wants to reap the rewards of all the effort and energy that she put into this plant. So, for some of you, you felt like this about your person. You wanted it to grow. And for some reason, you felt like you're a person that could have been holding back. You could have felt like they were the type that didn't really say how they really feel. And it made you feel like they had secrets. Yeah, you felt like something was hidden. Yeah, but that's a recent past energy between you and your person. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Emperor, the Emperor and we got the Two of Cups. Yeah. Um, your person could feel like you are their mate, their ideal partner. Because that's what you get with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups can be about a romantic love. It can be about a partnership. It can be about harmony, a union. A, a really good connection The Two of Cups, they feel like you're the ideal person for them. But I guess you might be having a hard time um, realizing this because, yeah, you feel like this person, they hold back. And because it's with the Emperor, you might feel like just... Well, the, the Emperor can be detached. Emperor is a cold energy. That's the card that's below the word present. You might feel like um, you don't want to really open up your heart to this person anymore. But they do have feelings for you. They feel like you're the one for them. But... Um, you feel like detaching from them because you just feel like too too much is hidden from you or they, they're secretive or something like that. Or you could feel like you're just not trusting the connection with this moon card showing up here. Yeah, so the Emperor is telling me that you, for some of you, you, you could be deciding to no longer... Um, be emotionally invested because the emperor only uses his head and not his heart. So that's what's coming up for the two of you. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got this page of cups and it's with the page of pinnacles. Yeah, so page of pinnacles. Yeah, you might start to feel like, um, well, Page of Cups. 
That's a card above the word challenge. That can be about a very playful type of energy, having fun. It can it can be about um, opening your heart to intimacy. So for some of you, you could start to feel like this is a sex-based connection. Yeah, because your person, they're not really opening up to you. You feel like detaching emotionally. And it seems like it's, it could be turning out to be, you might start to feel like this is just sex base. Because look at those people in the Page of Cups, the card above the word challenge. Yeah, they're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle. And they're having a good time. So you're starting to feel like this is not going to go anywhere. It's just about sex. And it's making you lose interest because the Page of Pentacles, the card below the word cha challenge, can be about boredom in some ways. So I'm getting for a lot of you, Geminis, this is not what you signed up for. You didn't really, you weren't really looking for just a sex based connection. Yeah, because your person, they just, something about them, you just, you don't know. Kind of too mysterious, maybe. The moon card, is, it just keeps shouting out here at me. Something is hidden. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Six of Cups, and it's with Justice. Six of Cups. Yeah. I don't know if I said this, but for some of you, you're dealing with a Gemini. No, not a Gemini. You are a Gemini. For some of you, I'm just looking at these cups. You got a lot of cups here. I just want to say this. Because you got so many cups here, some of you are dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. That's what I, I keep wanting to say, but I forgot to say that. Yeah, with all these cups, that's what you're dealing with. Cancer, Scorpio, or, or Pisces. Yeah, so, but back to the outcome. Six of Cups and Justice. So, Six of Cups can be about familiarity. It can be about happy memories. Um, well, it's interesting because Justice is telling me that your person, they want to do right by you, they, or you could be wanting some clarity and truth from this person, and, and you f could feel like you're not getting it, um, the Six of Cups can be about memories, for some of you, you know, I'm getting this feeling that, because the Six of Cups is here, I'm getting your person that they're holding some. They've got someone in their heart that they're still attached to. Six of Cups can be about being nostalgic. It can be about um, holding on to happy memories. Yeah, keep. I'm getting that your person has got someone still in their energy that they haven't close a chapter with. They could be wanting to do right by this connection, but they could be having a difficult time. Justice card can be about doing the right thing. Or you could be wanting some clarity or some light on what's going on with your person. And for a lot of you, it's because your person is still holding on to someone from the past or someone that they used to be with. And this could be why they they come across as being secretive. Because they still got someone in their energy. And yeah, they're still holding on to someone that they used to be with. Yeah, they haven't closed out that chapter. Not in their head. So, that can be a challenge because you're dealing with someone that's they stuck on the past. 
yeah. Yeah, you could be trying to figure out what's going on. Because it's for right now, it just seems like it's just sex-based. They're not opening up to you. And you're losing interest. And you're, you're feeling like this emperor. You just don't want to give to this emotionally anymore. And it's showing the outcome is that you might realize that they're still holding on to someone that they used to know. They're holding on to something that's over. They're stuck on memories from someone that they used to be with. They're still holding someone else in their heart, even though they're not with this person anymore. Yeah, so Gemini, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Gemini reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Gemini, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.